Hello guys and goddesses, Coco here. So we are going to smudge the space. I feel like I'm going to be smudging until the end of the month. So enjoy, take advantage, all that good stuff. Let's put that out the way. Ooh. All right. So, mm -hmm. okay, so we're doing cinnamon as per usual. Cinnamon is the, one of the best herbs for bringing in love, unconditional love and connection to spirit. And also we have the, um, the clove which is good for um, spiritual and mental protection. So I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This energy feels very heavy this morning. Not like negative, well not like bad, but heavy like negative. Like there is an energy of getting off track or feeling off track. There's something in the atmosphere that wants you imbalanced. And this is the best time to combat, combat that <clears throat> with being vigilant with your spiritual practices as far as spiritual and mental protection. Keeping your stress levels at bay as much as possible um just being vigilant on gauging where your energy is okay so we are going to cleanse the throat chakra we are going to get that energy as healed as possible i just saw two 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 we're going to get that energy as healed as possible and we have what three more days two more days this is day three for some reason the smoke is is getting to me today it's not like it's bothering me but it's like it's affecting my voice so if it goes in and out you know just bear with me but um yeah let's get this let's let's get it going adjust your volume take your deep breaths be in the moment be mindful be present So I was guided to uh, recite a mantra for you. It's a daily protection mantra that spirit gave me to share with the collective. And it is, I release all energies that are no longer in alignment with my current trajectory. I ask that these energies be transmuted into love, light, and healing for all those who are willing to receive it all is well and as it should be Ashe. and the fact that that's my third time this morning saying reciting that mantra and it's it's not even nine o'clock so within i'm gonna say four hours i have recited this mantra three times there is a heavy energy of distraction delusion illusion why that came out so loud <laughs> all right adjust your volume take some breaths be in the moment
pray that 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 energy was healing or helpful to you in some way. Um, I, I keep feeling the need to just tell you to be vigilant with your energy. Be vigilant with, you know, protecting your peace. Because there, there's something in the energy for the collective, not just for you specifically, but for, but for a lot of people that wants to throw off the balance. So the very first message that I got was don't get distracted. Um, okay, so let me see. Let me get on. Let me get. Let me get on track. What I have burning? Did I tell you already? The cinnamon and the clove. I did. And what I have in the diffuser is black raspberry, which is good for growth and you know adapting, adaptability, adapting to different situations and circumstances, and vanilla, which is good for improving powers of the mind imp improving the clarity imp improving you know breaking through any resistance any mental resistance um, and a, a message that came up for the oils that i used is attraction of desired outcomes so as you are battling these energies that you know are, are coming at you to throw you off underneath all of that is you know especially if you maintain a certain level of um, a certain vibration what's coming forward to you are all the things that you want all the things that you've been manifesting working for and desiring those things are coming forward to you it's like you are behind enemy lines that phrase has been coming up a lot um, being behind enemy lines it's like you have crossed over a threshold where um, the enemy like set up shop the enemy knew like it didn't know exactly where you were going well it didn't know how you were going to get there but it knew where you were going so it just set up shop a, you know close to where it thinks that you are headed to and along the way it had little um, um, decoys to try to throw you off and um, it's like now that you have gotten closer because on the other end of where they set this trap for you now that you have gotten closer that they're they're working harder and this is like a message for the collective. It's like th this energy is um, desperate. That's what I. That's the word that I'm getting. It, the energy is desperate because its days are numbered. Count your days. You know, <laughs> you better count your days because it has been prevalent for so long. It has been. It has. It's gotten comfortable with being in the limelight with being in control and now that you know people speak of the age of Aquarius and things like that now that there's a dawn of a, a new energy in the atmosphere it's calling out all the shots it's throwing everything in that it can and um, it's like crunch time for you know negative energies right now to try to get in where they fit in so let's see in my notes, we have a heavy energy of throwing you off track or off schedule is in the atmosphere. An attempt to prolong your victory to breakthrough. It's like you right there. You are like right there. It's like a lot of people may call this a test, but it's really a battle. It's 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 a battle of you know are you are you going to 
mold or mildew. Well, no, it's not mold or mildew. <laughs> it's barbecue or mildew. Are you going to, you know, keep that strong desire, keep that fire strong, keep the faith, or are you just going to give up and you're at the end of the race? Um, remain vigilant, as I said. And the words recognize, realize, and discern came up. But um, the message for that is recognize what is true, realize what is true, discern what is true, important, or what's an illusion. <laughs> or this could be an energy of things could be off track right now for you. There could be something that, that just came out of nowhere that surprised you and it wasn't exactly uh, something good. It, it just wasn't good. It was something that called for your energy to, your, your vibration to be lower. Like those lower vibrational energies are, are sometimes, you know, you, you can't avoid them, you know. So something came up for you and maybe it's making you feel like okay well you know i didn't came this far and now this happens or i didn't did all this and now this happens but that that's just to throw you off again is to keep it's to get you off track it's to make you feel like it's to give you that illusion that you know things are still the same things aren't working out for you or you know that shit is just fucked up you know just to put it bluntly um, but remember that that is an illusion. So the message after that is don't think that you can't get back on schedule. Just decide that you want to move forward on a positive, on a positive trajectory and follow through. And then I heard stick to your guns, stick to the plan that you made, stick to the promises that you spoke not only to God but to yourself like a lot of times we have a problem with keeping promises to ourselves we can keep promises sometimes to other people but when we say oh I'm I'm gonna do this and then don't do it or oh I'm not gonna do that and you still do it anyway it's like you're creating that this distrust within yourself like you can't even trust yourself to do what you told yourself that you was gonna do so it's about you know keeping your word to yourself as just as much as you try to keep your word to other people if you say i'm not gonna mess with this person again and then they call you with some you know with some bull crap like they need your help with something like they got something going on in their life that really in all actuality is not your responsibility it is their responsibility but you feel like this false sense of obligation because of your love because of how big your heart is but i'm here to tell you right now that just like you live through your own karma you live through your own mess you work through your own problems so does everyone else you are not here to save people yes you you can help people but you are not here to save people, especially not everybody and especially not people who don't have the, the I heard wits about them, but who don't have that, that mindset to help themselves first. If, like if, the, if you see a person working hard and doing all that they can to get something done and you know, but they still need a little help, then yes, by all means help them. But if they out there half assing, when you know you working hard and all of this, don't fall into that trap. Don't allow them to pull you back into that and to get you off track, okay? So, <laughs> I also see, go with the flow and remember that everything in your life is divinely orchestrated for your good. Even if obstacles are thrown your way, know that you will come out on top simply by allowing the flow and listening to that gut feeling so it's like okay so say for instance bull crap does happen to you not not even to the people that are trying to drag you back in but it, bull crap happens to you where 
either it directly or indirectly affects you that's also a trap to throw you off so the most important thing for you to do is to try to keep your vibration high you know you feel your feelings be upset yes shit is should be fucked up sometimes be upset be sad be hurt but move past that the main message that i've been getting this week is if things happen in your life things are gonna happen shit happens but move past it don't wallow in it don't allow it to throw you off track to to keep you you know stuck and stagnant to make you feel like you did all that work for nothing because that's not true it's only it's only you did all that work for nothing if you allow it to keep you down or to hold you down or to anchor you in a place where you don't want to be that's when you did all the work for nothing but when things happen they like moments are fleeting yes we have bad moments that's normal feel it work past it okay so i heard speak life in the midst of your distractions so what what I got from that is a message that I always love to give out. It's some advice that I love to give to people who come to me for advice that, you know, if negative thoughts come into your mind and, you know, sometimes it's unavoidable. You can't help thinking negative. Like, yes, you know, um, these negative thoughts are messages to you of some things that you need to work on here. You know, they're triggers for you. But you can also do something about these negative thoughts. You can combat them yourself by replacing those thoughts. You know, stopping that negative thought. If you don't want to work on it at the time, that's fine. I mean, at some point, you're going to have to work on it, though. But if you don't want to work on it at that time, you, you, you don't want to be in a bad mood, think of two, three, four positive thoughts that can counteract that negative thought that comes up. Even if you have to keep saying the same positive things over and over again, combat those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. That, that's the easiest method that I can you know prescribe to you <laughs> to help you to work through excuse me your fears thank you and your emotions that are heavy or you know so on and so forth um so the next message is even if you falter even if you get off track don't beat yourself up over it you know everybody has their moments every dog has his day just keep going regroup refocus remember what you said remember what you've been doing and just move forward keep going now at this time period right now i've been hearing this a lot that we are in six retrogrades now i don't follow retrogrades very much because i don't i'm not one of those people who is just you know into astrology like that or whatever but i do feel that the 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 alignment of planets and things does have an effect on us like mentally and emotionally and things like that um so it's six planets in retrograde and there are a lot of people out there who speak bad about retrogrades but what i feel personally is that they're just times for healings because retrograde is just a planet seemingly going backwards it's like that planet going so slow it is it, that it, it just slowed down it, it's not going in reverse it looks it's an illusion that it's going in reverse and see okay message come through it looks like it's going in reverse but it's just moving slowly and it's like that's the time for you to take stock of of all of the things that are triggering you at that time, all of the things that you want to work on, that you want to work for, all your goals, all your dreams, all your plans. It's like the time to like go internal, that goddess energy that's been coming up all week. And it's like, 
with this throat chakra and the message being to speak life keep keep your thoughts positive as much as possible but always keep your words positive you may not be able to control what you think but you can definitely control what you say even if you do if it slips out you know if it's in the heat of the moment and it slips out negative words slip out catch yourself retract it you can always retract your words <laughs> I mean, sometimes, you know, if you're talking to a person, uh, I don't know about that, but I'm just speaking on, like, you personally. Like, if you say things like, man, I'm never going to get the job that I want. If you say things like that, catch yourself and just remember that maybe, maybe now is not the time for me to get the job that I want because there's some, still some things that I need to work on within myself, you know, find the silver lining um, okay so it says people speak on retrogrades as if they are bad but they are a time of healing preparation going within and solidifying a routine or a procedure and procedure is that that came out that's the word that came out directly from spirit because it's in quotations if you follow me you know that when when i write something in quotations that that's from that spirit saying gave me that exact word to give to you um, but procedures that will be beneficial for your future and then I heard future preparation and destined for greatness so it's like <laughs> the reason why things are so hard for you right now is because you are so close to your breakthrough. You are so close to your breakthrough, and your breakthrough is so amazing. Like, you just can't imagine. Just, just as bad as you think your life is, as you think things are going in your life, that's just how good, even better, that things are supposed to be. That's how things are going to be. That's how God intends for them to be for you. You just have to go through this stage of... I'm not going to say showing your worth, but that's what I wanted to say. Recognizing your worth. That's what it is. Recognizing your worth. Recognizing that, you know, how strong you are. How much you've overcome. How much you can overcome. Because <laughs> the, the next, the last phrase that I wrote down says, the avoidance of overwhelming emotions it's like what's coming forward to you is going to be so big that it's going to overwhelm you if you don't go through this if if, if god just hands it to you you're you gonna self-sabotage you're gonna fuck it up but if he shapes you and molds you see that's where i where the word mold wanted to, when they wanted to come out with mold and mildew no it, it, it was the molding of like shaping something into <clears throat> I'm getting the diamond in the rough so just allow yourself to go through this like go through the motions of the different you know it's like I'm seeing like a, a roller coaster ride like there there this that's just how life is is that you know with gravity and all of that and the planets and everything it's just go through the motions allow them to shape you into a better version of yourself i am better than i was yesterday is an affirmation that came up it's like be in the moment be present when things happen don't think about okay well this bad happened this bad happened last time this happened last you know don't don't add all of the bad up and if you are going to add all the bad up make sure you add all the good up too because I guarantee you, you got some good that happened in your life that's just as good as the bad that happened. Okay, so let's get you some affirmations. Some affirmations to assist you on your journey, to encourage you, to uplift you. I just, I'm just, I'm just gonna quit trying to make these readings short because it's just not happening. <laughs> I be trying. I even was like, okay, I'm just gonna do my shells. 
I'm not going to pull out no cards. I'm just going to do strictly channel messages and affirmations. And this will still be 30 minutes. <laughs> so just sit back and relax with the 30 minutes. Or I can just, I don't know, pull affirmations one day and give messages, channel messages from each affirmation. I don't know. But just let me know, like, comment below. Do you like them? You want them shorter? Do you like them how they are? You, what? You going with the flow? Let's see. Some more want to come out. Okay. I accurately receive, translate, and properly deliver unconditional love messages with love and conviction. I am the Empress. I am the Emperor. The fact that this message keeps coming out. I'm the Empress. I'm the Emperor. You, you are building something. You are creating something that is going to sustain you, sustain your family. I'm hearing legacy. Don't, don't get thrown off track. And I'm hearing like, think bigger. You might, you might feel like you, your, your life is small. Like it has no importance to this world, but I promise you it does. There are people that are not benefiting from your energy because you are so fixated on, you know, the, the bad that be happening to you. When it's not, it's not supposed to throw you off, it's supposed to strengthen you. It's supposed to make you stronger. It's people, for real, that need your energy. Like, even if you just walking around and you smile at somebody at, the, at a time when they need a smile and they looking like, oh, they, they smiled at me? Oh, okay, well, I must be doing something right. That person right there smiled at me. It's like, it could feel like a small impact or a small gesture, but it made a huge impact on somebody's life. I am unapologetically me. I forgive my past. I am financially stable. I welcome the courage from spirit to compassionately speak the truth to those who will receive it. And then I, the message on that is each one, reach one, teach one. So that's what I'm saying. Reach one, each one, reach one. That there, There's energies out there that can they can elevate in their lives just by your presence just because of you but it's also like you got to look at the flip side because it's duality just it, like just how they can benefit from your presence they don't benefit they don't move forward because you aren't moving forward and now i'm not trying to tell you that you got to live your life with other people but i'm just trying to let you see that your life is important to, to people that you don't even know they don't even know you yet but they need your energy. They need something that you have, something that God blessed only you with, that only you can give to this world. And if you don't live in that, if you don't, you know, embrace that, you can't help. You can't help yourself. You can't help others. I am love. I am patient with myself and others. <laughs> I recognize my growth and welcome more and I am full of purpose so I pray that this message was helpful to you <laughs> this 30 minute message <laughs> but you know it, it be filled with healing it's filled with advice and it, it's just it's, it's filled with love so I, I pray that it was beneficial to you in, in any way in every way and I appreciate you. I thank you for supporting me and my channel, for, you know, supporting my TikTok, Enchantress of Romance on TikTok, my blog. Like, all this information is in the description box, but I got to shout myself out because if I don't hype me up, who going to hype me up? But my blog, alluresoflife.home.blog. Um, it's on WordPress, so that may make it easier. It's on WordPress. 
Enchantress of Romance. Um, what else am I on? <laughs> I'm on Instagram. Enchantress of Romance. Okay, well, I'm getting a message that I need to go. So, I thank you and I appreciate you. And love yourself. I love you. God loves you. Keep going forward. You got this. Love and light to you. I will be one of the greatest. That is a ball. Yeah, that is a problem.